hi everyone welcome back in this lesson I will share with you how to program logic gates using ladder logics and we will also test it practically using our DIY Arduino board since we will need we will need our board that's our DIY Arduino board we will need a lamp for the outputs it's a 24 volts but can still be switched on with 12 volts we will need a push button this is a stop push button with both normally close and normally open contacts we will need another push button there is a start with a normally close normally open contact as well great and then we will need some set of cables let's get started kindly subscribe if you've not done that already and also press on the notification bell this way you will always be notified whenever i upload new video okay so now let's do a quick test we will now put our meter on continuity we shot the probes together to see that it's working fine and then we'll pick up our stop push button and then we we'll connect our probe to the normally open contact and then when i press we can see that we have continuity which is working fine good and now connect it to the normally closed contact i should have continuity even if i've not pressed and then when i press the continuity needs to break good it's working fine we'll do similar tests for our start push button as well connect it to the normally closed contact and it's responding fine and then i connect it back also to the normally open contact and then when i press i get continuity as well great okay so we move on to our circuit this is how the, the wiring is going to be we have our two start stop push buttons we have a lamp and then connection to our board if you don't have this board don't worry you can still make use of this particular board okay so now let's move on and wire our system quickly so we have a brown cable connected to the normally open contacts of our, one of our switches and it's at pin 3 we check how firm it is we connect the other section also to the second push button pin 3 as well okay we add an additional cable which we will loop to our power supply that is the 12 volts point of our board okay with everything firm we will now connect it to the 12 volt point of our board and then screw it in position tightly okay now we connect to pin 4 or terminal 4 of our push button and then we connect it to the input number one of our board okay we do same for the second push button connected to terminal 4 and then connected to input 2 of our board So with this setup, we will now do a quick test with the previous program that we are having on our system. When we press the first push button, we have relay one coming on. The second push button brings relay two on. Our system is working fine. We will now move on and connect our output lamp. So first cable to one end of it, which will be go to the negative supply. And then the next cable to one end of our output relay we need to connect the next cable also to the other end of the output relay which we will tap 12 volts okay now our setup is done 
this is our first push button second push button we have our cable connected from the 12 volt supply okay to the first point of our push button and then we loop to the second point of our next push button and then it goes to the output section as well so that we have power supply at the 12 volts power supply at our output point now we loop to the lamp and then from the lamp also to the negative point of our supply great so now next we can see that we've connected our input the next one goes to the next second input and then everything is set up now we can now move on and then do a quick test we power up the board and then when I press the first push button we can see our output coming on and our lamp on the second push button brings our output on too as well great we will now move on and then look at our first logic which is an AND gate so we create a two input AND gate using input 1 and input 2 and an output we now connect to our board and then press on the Arduino icon to download when we press the first push button nothing happens second push button nothing happens we have logic 1 1 the output comes on indicating our AND gate is working perfectly we now move on and then create an OR gate. We modify the code now. OR gates are basically two contacts parallel to each other. So input 1, input 2 are parallel to each other and then wired to the output. Okay. We now click on the Arduino icon to download this into our Arduino PLC box. okay good we now check the port is okay port 7 in my case and then I click on the upload okay so uploading done we press first input lamp comes on we press second input lamp comes on we press both inputs lamp comes on as well working perfectly and then in accordance with the truth table of all gates we now modify our circuit quickly to form to form a NAND gate okay so we note the first input and then we negate the second input as well okay good we then download into our Arduino PLC by clicking on the Arduino icon okay so downloading done we can see our output is already on first input nothing happens second input nothing happens we press both inputs the output goes off so we know with the NAND gate 1 1 will give us logic 0 okay so we move on and then we modify our circuit and then we create a NOR gate so we need to move the second input in series with the first input and they all need to be negated before we can get a NOR gate out of this circuitry okay all connected we need to then download into our PLC okay it's ready now we check everything and then click on the upload okay so we can see output first input the output goes off second input the output goes off and then when we press both the output goes off fulfilling the truth table of a NOR gate okay we'll now move on and create our XOR gate and with this we need still two inputs but we need to apply them at four positions so we copy the first input and then duplicate it at the second rank 
and now we wire it to each other in series and then connect it parallel to the first set of inputs take the negates we need to take the knot off of this second input and then on the second rank we take the knot off of the first input as well everything is set we now upload into our PLC okay we click on upload and then we can see that the input needs to be exclusive before the output comes on which is correct we press on the second input getting 0 1 and then the output comes on and then when we have 1 1 which means the inputs are not exclusive the outputs will not come on great working perfectly we now move on and create our XNOR gate okay so with this we need to negate the top side or the input at the top side and then clear the negation on all the inputs at the down rank okay it's done now so we now click on compile and then we can now upload into our board okay so first input the output goes off second input the output goes off and then when both inputs are all on output remains on fulfilling the truth table of an x nor gate we now move on and create our final gate which is a not gate we only need one input and it needs to be not we connect it to the output okay and then we can then compile and then upload into our PLC okay we click on upload upload done we can see our output is already on when we press the first input it goes off we release it it comes back on this is a not gate viewers thank you for watching see you in the next tutorial bye bye